Zermatt. It is one of the most touristy place in Switzerland. Wondering why? Yes, millions of tourists travel to Zermatt for this iconic mountain, the Matterhorn. The shape of this mountain is recognized all over the world. In this video, we'll share with you our first impression of Zermatt and we'll do some short day hikes in and around Zermatt from where you can get an amazing view of the Matterhorn. And a bonus, everything we'll do is free. So we'll give you a lot of tips on how to visit this touristy area on a budget. So join us on our adventures in Zermatt. We had a halfway travel card, it was the half price, but still the travel card. I will check the price of the travel cards, I think it's also more than 200 euros. So now you can see how efficient Switzerland is. The people get out on the other side and people get in on the, on the other side. You guys, we thought we are going to be seeing all the beautiful scenery, but uh, we are all going through nice tunnels. We see some nice, beautiful Swiss grass. So there's one thing which you should really consider if you want to visit Zermatt, is that Zermatt is car free. You cannot go to Zermatt. The last city you can go with the car is Tash. And in Tash, there you take the train, which we just took, to Zermatt. And in Tash, you can also park your car. That's around 16 uh, euros per day. So yeah, that's something you can consider. You can, of course, park your car there, take all your stuff and find a hotel here in Zermatt. We decided to stay in Tash and take the train. Uh, today and tomorrow but that's something yeah you should just look what is the most efficient for your situation so out of the whole world you want to shop here sort of shop in the most expensive town but they have really nice good quality stuff here but yeah it's not the place to be to shop at. But let's see how the four dollar four euros coffee tastes it it's it's pretty there. strong, yeah. But it's so crazy. 100 kilometers away from here, it's Italy, and we had the same coffee for one euro. So we had our coffee at Petit Royale, and I must say, the coffee was really good, and they have delicious cakes. It's really cozy inside. So if you want to have a coffee and some enjoy some nice cake, this is the place to be. Yes. Yeah. A window cleaner. Oh, so it's efficiency. Yeah. They don't need people for all these small jobs. No, because people will be, of course, way more expensive than yeah. buying <laughs> these things. So what have we got, Mira, until now? The lunch. If you want to do Switzerland on a budget, you have to you have to shop in a supermarket because if you're not getting your lunch or your breakfast from supermarket it might be really expensive if you go to any any restaurant the supermarket the bakery yeah. is really nice all the the food the meals we've got some nice uh, couscous salad healthy and uh, that's probably what we eat when we are at home so yeah, why no, not it is a good quality supermarket it's yeah. really so, i'm just checking out for coffee coffee <laughs> might be a big safe for tomorrow oh yeah but, so we are here now and we walk up 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 here here and then we do going to do the H H V weg and it goes like here and then somewhere here you come down and you can take the free bus back to the station or you can do some other hikes around that area the views from this hike are really pretty but it is a bit cloudy so we have to be lucky that the clouds just go away when we are there and tomorrow we probably have the best hike from Saramat plans best free hike best free hike and uh, it's really popular especially on the locals because they say it's a bit more quiet so yeah i'm really excited about that one the sky is clearing up mira look this side yeah but not the side where the motorhorn is <laughs> that side <laughs> it's mountains things can change that is a motorhorn not the perfect weather today The tag is really pretty. We like you can uh, just stop somewhere and do some photo shot. It's really not uh, busy as compared to the city. And do you think the mountain is getting clearer? I don't know. Yeah, we like the trees are now. Careful, Mira. But I have the feeling that there's just this little cloud. You know, if it just goes away, then we can see the peak. Today will be the day that we already see it. Yeah. 
So we're so sad that we don't see the Matterhorn top that we decided to just eat the chocolate. Even the chocolate is... Swiss. No, no, no. In the shape <laughs> of the mountain. See? Exactly. So this is it. Swiss chocolate, so it is good to yeah. have. So we have almost finished the whole chocolate, <laughs> but uh, still not clear. We just hoping for the best, but you see from this hike, like it's even maybe half an hour from the city, you can have this really cool viewpoint. Yeah. So, yeah. And how much you pay for this one? Just buy some chocolate, buy some lunch, and you are good for the whole day. Every corner of this trek, you see this in the background. So imagine if you had a super clear weather, would be worth it, right? Would be. So what is really nice here in Saramont is that they're everywhere are these really pretty parks with really nice benches. So it's really easy to eat your own packed lunch. Yeah. Eight euros, guys. And if you go for a restaurant, like one meal, is maybe 18 euros. I think not even. I think it's all above 20. But it can So if you decide to stay in Serma itself, itself, I think you can almost not go wrong with accommodation. Like every accommodation is so pretty and look behind me, I think when these lights turn on in the evening, it's super cozy. And wow, even when we went up there, we had like the swimming pool and looking over to the, to the Matterhorn. It's a really, really cute town. So now we are going to uh, another viewpoint towards a little town called Fury. And a little bit further away from that town, there is a suspension bridge, which also looks really cool. So these are a few day hikes, which, which you can do while you are in Zermatt. And it's so cool that literally walking 10 minutes away from the city, you are in the, in the nature. It almost looks like our Tour de Mont Blanc trek. I don't know what happened guys, but we fell asleep, but it's so cool, you can just, if you want to sleep, you can just find these benches, they're just everywhere and just sleep. And they're so clean, like everything here is so good quality. Yeah. And some really nice picnics here, and there's even a uh, fireplace and woods, it's now closed because I think there's, uh, it's too dry now, <laughs> but otherwise you could have a barbecue here. Yeah. Hangebroek. Look at this guys, the force of nature. It's crazy, crazy. I don't know if you can tell in the videos or not. Come here, he's too close to the edge. Oh, yeah, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> we came here to see just a suspension bridge, and we saw already so many cool things. The suspension bridge is like a hidden gem because <laughs> we just cannot find it. We still haven't found it. <laughs> to the suspension bridge. Yeah, it's so scary. I thought it would be just a little baby suspension bridge. God. If you're afraid of heights, really don't do this one. It's just, yeah. It's also yeah. Stable. It's stable. Yeah, it's stable. It but. is stable. But you see the view for whole Zerma? The Matterhorn is nowhere visible. So I'm almost afraid to drop my camera. What do you think, Vera? It is scary one. Look at this, guys. Daddy. Oh, it's so scary! Yeah, there. it is. So? But it's so cool that all these things you can just experience for free and super raw, like not touristy at all because not many people, they take this route. Like you don't have to line up for photos or maybe we are just lucky at this time. And the signs here, they're all super clear. So you cannot really go wrong.
look at the way where we are going from. So, so cool. Pretty, so, pretty. <laughs> so everywhere this pink flower, a pink, purple flowers. And wow, it's really nice. Like Switzerland, it's so, so, so yeah. surprising that you really don't have to do like anything spectacular to enjoy the beautiful view. It's just so cool. And everywhere it is uh, play fields for children, you yeah. know, slides, and they all look so good quality and uh, lots, of, lots of fun for children. And there's lots of toilets, which is also oh. really important. It's so surprising for us in Netherlands, there's no public toilets, and if there is, you have to pay 50 cents for that. Uh, sometimes even more, and they always treat you like a criminal if you ask someone, yeah. can I go to the toilet? If there are any people watching who moved to Switzerland somehow, let us know how you did it, because... This country is amazing. Done. So welcome to our dorm. Let's go inside. Um, we have this huge space, and I believe it's for eight people, but we are just with the two of us uh, for three nights. And uh, it's high season, we booked this just a, a few days before we arrived here and there was nobody else and it was, now nah, you can almost not guess it, it was 20 euros per person per night. So we paid for three nights 120 euros. And just a little bit of a compa comparison, the, there's also a hostel in Cermat and that is 80 euros per person per night, so that would be 160 per night. And we just paid 120 for three nights. For it's a whole crazy. private room. And it was like the most cozy place where we've ever stayed. It's yeah, so big, you know, we could sort out all of our stuff and it stays really cool here inside because it is really warm outside and it was just perfect, but it's really hard to find on the internet and that's why I think uh, it was empty because it's just not promoted at all and um, yeah, lucky for us, but now I hope after this video that it not will be fully booked all the time, but uh, no, it's, it's perfect accommodation in uh, if you want to explore Matterhorn. So this accommodation is in Tash. It's the last uh, village uh, where you can go with your car. That's why we choose this, because we want it to be close to our car. And uh, from this place you can get really easy with the train to, uh, to Zermatt. And the train station is just there, not even a five minutes walk, so perfect. So day one in Zermatt comes to an end. We hope you enjoyed the video. Next week we'll share with you the best day hike from Zermatt that'll give you some spectacular views of the Matterhorn. Believe us, it's an amazing hike. If you don't want to miss out on our upcoming adventures, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.